Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to add columns in your Elementor page builder plugin. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Alright, so we have the Elementor editor screen already open up on this website and we have the content here on the right and we would like to add columns. We can do it in multiple ways. Let's start with the inner section widget. So we will drag it over here and we can see that it was divided to two equal columns and if you'd like to position another inner section in an already inner section it won't let you as you can see you can drag it into it what we can do if you'd like to have multiple columns it's either duplicate them or just choose a structure that contain columns from the get-go and then drag the inner section into each of the columns another easy way that we can add columns to your design is by duplicating a column so we can right click on the column and then we'll hit the duplicate button and we can see that the column was duplicated and it contained the content inside it already we can delete the content and now we can even adjust the columns by dragging the spine left or right based on your preferences and of course you can create multiple columns that way just reduplicate it and if you'd like to speed up the duplication process without the right click on it, we can go to the Elementor settings screen by go to the user preferences and then we can enable the handles. And now we don't need to right click on the handle, we can just hover on it and then click on the duplicate icon. Another great way to add columns in Elementor and enable grid design is by using the Flexbox container. Right now it's in its beta version, but soon enough it will be publicly available. But for now we'll just need to enable it. So let's go to Elementor settings and into the experiments tab. And here we'll change the Flexbox container to active and we'll save the changes. Then we'll open our Elementor editor screen once again and we'll refresh it in order to see the new Flexbox container widget that replace the inner section widget and you can see it over here now we just need to drag it into our desired position and you can see the different colors between the section and the container the container is dark blue and the section is light blue and now we can drag widgets into the container so for example let's drag uh, the heading and then we can drag another one like the image and by default the widgets will be a position one on top of another which means in one single column we can change it by going to the settings tab of the container and change the direction to row horizontal then the elements will be positioned one next to another and you can use the spine left or right in order to change uh, the width of it and every widget that you'll add into the container block will automatically get its own column and its own width. Of course you can uh, play with the width by dragging the spine left or right. Now if you would like to reorder elements inside the container you can see that I will try to drag the right column to the middle but I can't. Therefore we'll need to use the navigator tool and drag and reorder the columns from there just like so. Alright guys so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.